After Effects 2023 just dropped some life-changing features, so let's check it out. All right, first things first, we can finally render H.264 natively inside After Effects. It's as simple as just going to the render queue and selecting one of the presets, which you can select right here. Actually, by default now, one of these presets will be the default. So you, I've actually changed it to ProRes, but of course you can switch it up to any of these three. And of course you can also go in and actually change the parameters yourself as you like. I mean, this is fantastic. And it's all we've been asking for for such a long time. And who has time for media encoder? Am I right? Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, the second feature is track mats. This is a big deal. This is probably the biggest deal in this update is the fact that we can now just select Select, uh, the track mat that we want by just selecting a whole bunch of these. We'll go and select the track mat we want. We'll say it's mat one and bam, it is just matted like that. And it is all linked to this one layer. Like we can move this layer around and the track mat will move according to where this layer is. So that means we can put keyframes on it and we can start animating it as well. So it's like, it affects everything. And it just makes the workflow so much easier, guys. Shut up and take my money. And the final thing here that we're gonna look at is the animation presets have all been completely revamped. It actually they've been sourced by people in the community, including all of Femi and Jay in motion and they've all contributed some really really great presets to this set so one that i really like is this one which is if you've got fx console i'm gonna look it up here but it's this blinking cursor typewriter console and if you check this out we've got a blinking preset cursor which is like I don't know why this hasn't even been in After Effects since day dot, but now we finally got it. What's really cool about this particular preset too is you can actually go and change the last, you know, the last uh, character to whatever you like, basically. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of presets here, which is really, really cool. It's really, really nice, guys. And it's like, and the fact that it's been made by people in the community means that this is, uh, this is good stuff. Um, this is really well thought out. There's lots of parameters you can do. It's not just like a straight preset. You've got like lots of parameters you can work around with to basically change it into what you like. Guys, this is exciting. This is an exciting update. And speaking of presets, if you can't find the ones you're looking for, we've got this amazing pack called the Lyric Video Creator Kit with 22 customizable presets that you can just drag and drop straight into Premiere and there are no After Effects skills necessary. So what are you waiting for? Grab that Lyric Video Creator Kit in the description today and impress that girl with your motion graphic skills. You have my guarantee. Nick, Nick cannot guarantee that you will impress that girl. Okay, After Effects 2023, what did you think? Leave a comment below and tell me what you would like to see in After Effects 2024 and beyond. And guys, speaking of things you may not know, check out these 10 tips in Premiere that you may be sleeping on right now.